regular season. Manning also had this 13th career, his 13th career, 400-yard passing game, joining Dan Marino for the most in NFL history. It's been said before, he is the best regular season quarterback. Peyton Manning, consistently great. Probably so great, sometimes people take it for granted. So that brought us to this question. Like, how impressed were you with Peyton Manning in that win yesterday? Consider that. We marinate on that. Someone who can help us is very impressive. Our buddy, our NFL analyst, Eric Allen, back. Yeah. Uh, how impressed were you with Peyton yesterday? I, I'm, I'm always impressed with Peyton, not just because of his on-field skills, but if you know how he practices in the week leading up to practice, him understanding that, you know what, I may need to get the slot receiver more involved in this game uh, on third down. So I'm going to really focus on that on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. That, that's, that's the one thing that all great, great players have in common. When you go to practice, they stand out in practice. When you're practicing with Jerry Rice, you know, Jerry is running 100 miles an hour in practice, and it's obvious. It sticks out. So when Peyton gets to the game, the game slows down. And if you're not defensively, if you're not on the same page as Peyton Manning, if that week of practice that, that you were a part of yeah. wasn't full speed, you're going to get exposed. And that's what great players do. They make other great players practice great and have great games you enjoy the great battle so again i'm very impressed with how he's been able to have this consistency throughout his great career of being the best practice player on his football team and makes him the best player on the field i'm not digressing when i bring up this point but revisiting geno smith this is why he even though it was a one mistake it was isolated it had never happened before and we want to be fair to him when you have an ambassador like a Peyton Manning, who's so renowned for his commitment to mm -hmm. excellence, not just his excellence. And we understand the importance that comes with playing the quarterback position in the NFL. For you to sit there and be late to a meeting or whatever as the quarterback of the team, one would argue, what on earth are you doing going to the movies on a Saturday mm. before the game? Yep. Forget about missing it, yeah. the time frame. Yeah. You should have been in there early anyway because you're the quarterback. So, that, that, that's a great point. Friday yeah. to try to, to, to get relax. there faster. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I, that's I, I a, get, that's you're, a great, you're right. That's you're a right. great point. Right. Because when you are struggling, and I know the, the, the excuse is, hey, you know what? It's Saturday before the game, but you're a struggling team. You're struggling team. So, you have to sometimes put that front on like you know what I'm not going out I'm gonna be I'm, in my room in the playbook I'm, I'm being here I can watch a movie in the room last time right. I check it's on demand and stuff like that, that in the hotel sure. room it's I don't have to go to the movie I mean, yeah. right here and you talk about a dude that love the movie unless you want to see Gone Girl <laughs> yeah because Gone Girl's not on demand well you know what you, you could Sunday night be upset <laughs> that you order lost <laughs> with that being said <laughs> yesterday's game as impressive as Peyton Manning was with his 179 yards I'm not gonna lie to you I didn't think about Peyton Manning at all mm -hmm. I was, fa I, I was floored by 479. I was floored by Demarius Thomas. And what I saw that show he, he put on yesterday, well, this, this boy could fly. I, I mean, there's a couple of times, I mean, don't get me wrong, Peyton Manning made his throws, but Demarius Thomas made some plays. I mean, his feet, his athleticism, his speed, he made some of those plays, and you just saw him fly down the left sideline, and then the dip and dunk from Peyton Manning. It wasn't even a screen, but it looked like a screen. It just, I mean, he just scattered into the end zone. I'm like, yo, this, this brother is big time. You got him in single coverage, and you're going up against Arizona. It's going to either be, it's going to either be passing or it's going to be Antonio Cromartie. And, and excuse me, this is supposed to be an elite secondary. Yeah. And 226 yards receiving? I, I'm sorry. Guy. Blowing by him. I'm sorry. That's what stood out in my mind. So I know right. that Peyton Manning is a bad man. Yeah. I know that he's great, and I get all of that. But yesterday's game, I found myself mesmerized by Demarius Thomas and what I saw him doing. Okay, but I, I got to tell you, I, I got chills watching this game yesterday because of what the quarterback was doing. The, this I, I was in awe of Peyton yesterday, and and he's been around for forever. He was making jokes about it after the game, but but what got me was, and I, I'm going to be balanced about this. Even though you're you're up against only Drew Stanton, who got concussed, and then it's it's the Logan Thomas, the yep. kid from yep. Virginia Tech. And okay, I get that, and you do throw two interceptions, which is a little uncharacteristic of Peyton Manning, but 
as Stephen A. pointed out, it's Cromarty and Patrick Peterson, and That's it's right. Honey Badger, and it's Tony Jefferson from Oklahoma, who's really a good player, is their sort yep. of safety and, mm -hmm. and nickel safety, actually. And it's pretty good defense. And you're going to chew it up and spit it out for almost 500 yards through the air? I, I got to tell you, now he's in his third year away from an Indianapolis that said, you are washed up, basically. Like, you, you'll never quite be the same. That, that had to be the message they were sending off four neck procedures. We all know. And they, they had the first pick, so they, they know they're going to take luck. God bless. But in this, he, Peyton Manning is getting better. I mean, that, that's, that's as well as I've ever seen him play. That's the highest level. He was picking them to pieces. Yeah, he's got weapons. I, I Look at the, mm -hmm. you know, when, when Demarius catches eight and then Emmanuel Sanders. Anders, great addition, catches seven, and Welker catches seven, and Julius catches six. Yeah. But somebody has to pick the right place, right time, passes. I mean, that's, it, it just, I sat back in awe of that game because I thought Arizona could hang with them, and Arizona could not hang with yeah, them. Well, Arizona has some, has some pieces that are, you know, yeah. missing in the sure. secondary. No question. But I, I think going back to your point, Stephen A., and both your point also, Skip, is those guys would not be at that level, Thomas, Either one of them would not be at that level if it wasn't for Peyton.